This is NSCA's business question series. My name is Brad Malone with Navigate Management Consulting, and we are an NSCA business partner. Today's question is, what are the consequences when salaried project managers and engineers work overtime, yet only time bill the standard 40 hours instead of the actuals? This one's a tough one. There's so many consequences. One, um, I will say, in some states in the United States, uh, there are laws that say you you can't have them do that. Or when you start actually tracking more than 40, then I'm moving more into an hourly conversation. So one, read through the, the laws within your state, some government contracts, same thing. So understand the, the legality of what of that question. This, but to me, the, the conversation is, I need to know how much is being spent because that's what it takes. And I find that many salaried people, project managers especially, are working 45, 50, 60 hours a week and yet not tracking it and yet saying, oh my God, I'm overworked. But then the, we get some of the other questions in terms of profitability. Well, if I showed all my hours, we'd be unprofitable. Well, that just come, gets into what I'll, uh, almost a death spiral. That's just a logical nightmare we get into. So I wanted to bill actuals. Now they may not be 40 hours against a project. So it goes back to billable utilization. But if I hold my PMs to be 90% billable utilization, I promise you they're working 50 hours a week and I wanna know what those are and where they're putting them. So it, it sets up also an ethical conversation if I'm working 50, but only tracking 40, what 10 am I not tracking? And where am I making that choice? And then the worst thing is when I have managers above them say, you only get 40, but I want you to make sure you get it done. So you're gonna have to work overtime, but I'm not valuing your overtime, not valuing you the true effort it takes, but you can only put 40 and make sure they're all on the project. So to me, it just sets up a weird, not even weird, it's ethical. Uh, it sets up a just a taste in your mouth that says, one, I'm not valued. Two, we're also not understanding the true capacity needs of our company. If all of our PMs are, are running around, again, in overwhelm, they're typically, one, not planning, because anybody who's working that hard, typically, is being reactive 95% of the time. And with if I'm being reactive, I can't learn to plan and I can't learn to improve. So it goes to the motto, truth early, uh, always the truth with options. And so reward your people for accuracy. When we start blaming them for what it actually takes, then we start to basically build a lie. Now, it doesn't mean we can't improve, but we can't improve without good data. So this is a tough one. Every company I work with has weirdness about this conversation. And it's just, I think, a critical conversation within a company to have with the PMs, the engineers, again, anybody salaried, and their executive management and finance. It's it's angst in a lot of companies. I'm not saying it's an easy conversation, but it's an absolutely critical conversation to have.